Hey guys, so there's several ways that you can salvage your undercooked brownies. Number one, sprinkle it on top of ice cream. Who doesn't like brownies and ice cream? Number two, make a brownie milkshake. Easy. Number three, make brownie balls. Here we go. I made a batch of brownies for a family in need who are taking them a meal tomorrow and pulled them out of the oven and they looked great and I let them cool and I just went to go pull them out of the dish and this is what they look like. A big giant gooey mess. They're undercooked, not like inedible undercooked, but totally too soft to be in squares. So I was like, hmm, what do I do with this? I feel bad about throwing it away but I have some leftover white melting chocolate here from another recipe that I had made for some friends. And so I thought, ooh, what could I do? So I'm gonna show you right now. What you're gonna do with your um, undercooked brownies is you're gonna make them into balls, put them in a parchment lined dish, fill it up, and then put it in the freezer. I had way too much fun playing in that batter, but here's what it looks like in my dish. All right, so I have about 19, um, probably two or two and a half inch size brownie balls here. They're pretty good size. I would, yeah, I would eat that. But who doesn't love a ginormous brownie? So anyways, I'm gonna pop these in the freezer for like 30 to 60 minutes. I'll check on them and see. They need to be pretty hard and cold enough to solidify the, the uh, melting chocolate. So I'm gonna go and pop those in the freezer. Checking on my brownie bites or cake ball things here and they're still a little bit soft. So I'm gonna let them go a little bit longer. And so mine's at a nice liquidy consistency. It's a little warm and then you're just gonna take your brownie ball drop it in mix it up you lift it up on a fork specifically tap 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 get the excess off and then put it on another piece of parchment paper and at this point you can put sprinkles or an M&M on top or what have you, um, I think I'll probably do some fun little sprinkles. I've got some simple chocolate sprinkles here. You wanna do this obviously while it's wet. And put them on top and now they look all cute and you'd never know that I totally messed up my brownie batter and I ended up with this cool little dessert. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these all out. All right, so because they are frozen, they dry pretty uh, quickly. So I'm gonna have my four-year-old be our taste tester. All right, four-year-old, are you ready? All right, Miss Adelaide, you ready to try it? Tell me your honest opinion. What do you think? Take a bite. What do you think? Do you like it? Uh -huh. What's the inside look like? Can you show me? Chocolate. Show me. Ooh. That looks pretty delicious. Is that your new favorite dessert? Yeah? Do you have anything else to say? Nope. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for helping me. Yeah, well. Um. <laughs> say subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> I love you. I think that it is a total success. I had a bite and they are amazing. So if you 
don't even mess up your brownies, but you want to just undercook them a little bit and make this recipe, I highly recommend it. It is going to be a big hit. My husband liked it and he doesn't even like brownies. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or what did you say, subscribed? <laughs> and hit the like button so I know if you guys want more uh, recipe videos and I will see you next time. Bye!